everybody congratulations on a good first week I had a lot of great entries in writing be sure to check my feedback for you when you receive your grade even if it's a really good score <laughs> um, I do take the time to to share things with you sometimes and um, if your score is less than what you hoped I always give feedback about what that is and then you can update your assignment and resubmit it and I will update your score so you can get the score that you want but also most important to me is that you get because this is an online class and I can't catch you in class to say hey I wanted to make sure you got this um, I'm doing it this way I'm in the feedback I'm saying hey hey you know can you sit down for a minute I want to tell you about this assignment so I can explain it to you so I really want you to have a great experience in the class and um, because it's online this is my way of making sure I have a lot of good contact with you and I'll also do these weekly overview recordings with information so please um, I know it can be kind of boring and you know tedious to listen to me talk but I try to make it so that you are set up for success for the week. A lot of times students skip listening to this and then things happen and they have missed things. And I say, go back and listen to the recording because I put that in there. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. All right. I will try not to be too boring as my grandsons would say. All right. So um, here's your learning objectives and to-do list be sure you're looking at this every week these learning objectives are the competencies from the class Comp competencies being what we know and expect you if you pass the course that you will understand these things uh, we are responsible at the university for making sure you leave our program knowing what to do when you get in the classroom if you're not in there already so um, these are taken very seriously so look them over um, then I'm going to show you the to-do list so we have every week you'll have this journal entry um, well most of the weeks anyway um, and then uh, this week you're going to read chapter one of powerful role of play and you have two articles to read I am NOT assigning you anything from early learning theories today this week um, so I want to um, make sure that you know that's correct that I did not assign that because I want you to make some decisions about your observation sites so I want you to be able to use your time for that um, in oh and you'll have these beginning of life videos we'll have videos pretty much every week in your journal entry so be paying attention for those if, if they're not going to be in there, I'll note that when I go through the weekly overview here. And in the discussion board, is uh, there's a little bit to think about, and I have made two videos. One, it describes the analysis of play assignment in great detail so that you know what you're going to be observing for. That should help you make your decision about your observation site in the discussion board all I want you to do is tell me tell us what observation site you have chosen for your analysis of play assignment I also have in that observation site video the professional etiquette piece please go over that extremely carefully it's why I'm not assigning you textbook reading this week from early learning theories today because I want you to read that and understand clearly how to contact this these sites to set up your observations before you can do that you really need to listen to the analysis of play video so you can understand what those assignments are going to be I give a lot of information in that video about how to choose the right place for yourself the the ages of the children you need to observe and so on I'm also going to ask you in the discussion board to share the name of which of the two forest school sites you plan to observe 
And that's really probably just going to be a matter of observation location. One of them's out in Prospect, one is in the city of Louisville. So um, I usually what I find is students who choose those for their observation sites um, base it on location, which is perfectly fine. So just choose the location that makes sense for you. You don't need to do anything else about that right now. All right, so let's get out of this and go on and look at what we have this week. So under week two content, you have your journal entry as usual. And I'm gonna open that up um, so that you can see. You just click on this like you did last week, download it, it opens, and then you can see I have the directions in here. Um, for your notes, you can use the headings that are based on the objectives that we just talked about, um, the competencies. You could use those as a way to organize your notes if you wanted, because the competencies come from the content of this course. So you could just do your notes that way. Basically, I'm having you organize your notes from the reading to make sure I'm seeing that you're reading and getting what some understanding of what you're reading. If I see that that's not happening for you, I'll come back to you and help you with it. So it's no big deal. It's just that um, I want to make sure you're getting what I think you should be getting from the class. Um, again, not in person, so it's tricky. We have two Exchange Press articles that you're going to be reading this week and commenting about, and here's your videos. So that's your journal this week. I made it um, pretty short because, again, I do want you to have time to look at um, your observation sites. Here's your PDF of Powerful Role of Play. Here's your first article. There's your second article. There's your videos. And then here's your discussion board where I'm asking you to share the names of your sites. So that is our week this week. Please be sure you see those other videos and uh, have a great week. Be in touch with me if you need to be. And please do pay attention to those feedback pieces in your grading because again, sometimes I'm gonna say something to you that allows you to resubmit something um, or just let you know why something you did was really good. And um, I wanna make sure that we're in communication.